So since last month, I have been using the 13-inch M4 MacBook Air, and to be honest, I'm pretty much spoiled by the battery life, the touchpad, and the overall build quality of this laptop. But now I will be shifting to this laptop. This is the Samsung Galaxy Book 5 Pro and I will be using this for at least a week. And after a week, I will tell you what I like, what I did not like about this particular machine. So see you uh, after one week. And we are back. So over a week has passed and I have some really interesting things to talk about. Some things about the new Galaxy Book Pro 5 are seriously outright fantastic but there are some things which I think still need improvement. Now the Book 5 Pro over here is the base model which has the Intel Core Ultra 5, 226V, 16GB RAM, 512GB storage and a 14-inch 3K touchscreen AMOLED display. And we're gonna be pitting it up against the 13-inch M4 MacBook Air which has an M4 chip with 16GB RAM, 256GB storage and a 13-inch IPS LCD display. And with that said, let's start off with the first thing that I liked about the Galaxy Book 5 Pro and that's the laptop's design. So Samsung has done an amazing job in making this laptop and even though it is clear that they are taking some inspiration from the MacBook Air M1 design, I am not disappointed even a single bit. Because the fit and finish is very good. Another good thing is that you can easily lift the laptop lid with a single hand just like the MacBook Air. And in terms of flex, the Galaxy Book 5 Pro and the MacBook Air are also a lot similar as well. Now the keyboard has a good travel and is easy to type on and it is pretty silent as well. And here's how it sounds when compared to a MacBook Air keyboard. In terms of touchpad though, the MacBook Air wins with its haptic touchpad which simply feels more premium, responsive and overall just more easier to use compared to the mechanical touchpad on the Book 5 Pro. And even in terms of speaker quality, the MacBook Air is simply better as it offers a much more fuller sound. The webcam on the MacBook Air and the Book 5 Pro looks almost similar but details in the MacBook Air's webcam feel better. Like you can clearly see the details on my forehead on the MacBook Air. Meanwhile, it looks smooth in the Book 5 Pro. I really like the minimalist Samsung logo engraved onto one side of the lid because it looks very premium. But I also wish Samsung offered more colors for this laptop. Right now, it is only available in one grey color and it is a star contrast to the cheery and bubbly sky blue color of my M4 MacBook. But what the Book 5 Pro does way better than the MacBook is I.O. ports. Like on the Samsung Galaxy Book 4 Pro, you get one USB Type-A, an SD card reader, a 3.5mm audio slot, two USB Type-C Thunderbolt 4 ports and also an HDMI. Compare that to just two Thunderbolt 4 ports, a MagSafe and a 3.5mm audio jack on the MacBook and you see what I'm talking about here. Also the great thing is that Book 5 Pro has all these ports and yet it is just so thin. Like if you would compare its dimensions to that of the 13 inch F4 MacBook Air, you'll realize both these are almost identical. The Galaxy Book 5 Pro is 11.6 millimeters thick while the 13 inch MacBook Air is 11.3 millimeters thick. But because the Galaxy Book 5 Pro has a tapered design, it becomes thinner as we move along its length. In terms of weight too, both are pretty similar. The Book 5 Pro weighs 1.24 kg and the 13-inch MacBook Air weighs just 1.23 kg. So it is clear what kind of benchmark folks at Samsung were trying to beat. Now one area where this laptop is absolutely unbeatable is in display quality. It has a 3K AMOLED display with 500 nits of max HDR brightness. In terms of SDR brightness, the laptop scored around 380 nits which is pretty nice. The sRGB and DCI-P3 color space coverage is also pretty good at around 136% and 100% and all of that translates to great contrast, deep blacks and highly vivid colors. 
वॉचिंग कंटेंट ऑन द गैलेक्सी बुक फाइव प्रो ऑलवेज वॉज अ टोटल डिलाइट बट नाउ थैंक्स टू इंटेल आर ग्राफिक्स यू कैन रन गेम्स ऑन दिस थिंग एट टेन टीवी मीडियम सेटिंग्स एंड वेन यू डू सो द रिजल्टिंग इमेज एंड कलर्स जस्ट लुक सो गुड Now Samsung has given an anti-reflective coating for the Book 5 Pro but it is not as good as the anti-reflective coating on the MacBook Pro. Like you can clearly see in the comparison over here that the coating on the MacBook Pro is more effective at controlling reflections compared to the anti-reflective coating on the Galaxy Book 5 Pro. Lekin Samsung still wins this round because the anti-reflective coating on Samsung comes as standard. Meanwhile, the anti-reflective coating on the MacBook Pro will set you back rupees fifteen thousand. So, a decent anti-reflective coating for free, or a good anti-reflective coating for fifteen thousand. I know what I will choose. Now, one big reason to consider the Galaxy Book Five Pro is the Samsung ecosystem. Just pair it with the Samsung phone, and you'll get some truly seamless features. The first one is multi control which allows you to control your phone or tablet if you have one using your Galaxy Book's trackpad and keyboard you can simply move your cursor across all screens drag and drop file across devices and use one keyboard for all screens as well now next up is a continuity feature which allows you to copy text on your laptop and paste it on your phone which is pretty useful and up next is quick share which is samsung's airdrop alternative it allows you to send photos videos and large files between devices almost instantly without any cables or third party apps now beyond these three there are multiple samsung ecosystem features which i am sure you'll discover once you start using a samsung phone with your samsung laptop Moving on and in terms of performance the base model of the Book 5 Pro comes with Intel Core Ultra 5 226V and you are getting decent performance and great battery life with it as well in real world productivity tasks like docs and browsing the Galaxy Book 5 Pro lasts up to 17 hours easily covering a full work day with mixed use streaming writing multitasking it offers 10 to 14 hours depending on brightness for gaming and rendering the battery life drops to around 3 hours which is typical for a thin and light laptop and here's how the chip performs in cinebench 2024 As you can see it significantly lags behind the M4 MacBook Air both in single and multi core performance similarly in Geekbench you can see a similar story as the Intel chip lags behind in multi core performance but stands its ground in single core score somewhat in terms of GPU benchmarks like Wildlife Extreme the M4 Apple MacBook Air takes the lead by a noticeable margin and similarly in Geekbench 6 CPU test as well the M4 MacBook Air is clearly leading ahead of the Intel Core Ultra 5 226V even in real world tests like rendering 4K H265 footage in DaVinci Resolve the M4 MacBook Air finishes in just 1 minute 35 seconds while the Galaxy Book 5 Pro takes 3 minute 15 seconds which is noticeably slower but one area where the book 5 pro beats the m4 macbook air is in terms of storage size and ssd speed as the book 5 pro in that area is simply much faster so in conclusion the samsung galaxy book 5 pro impresses us with its design its 3k amoled touchscreen display a good selection of io ports and a great samsung ecosystem which has many useful features but when it comes to performance and overall build quality or the speaker quality the keyboard or the touchpad it falls behind to even the cheapest macbook in 2025 so my suggestion would be to go with the samsung galaxy book 5 pro if you have a samsung smartphone and if you want to immerse yourself in the samsung ecosystem because if you're looking for a good windows laptop then for rupees 1.32 lakh you can easily get the lenovo yoga slim 7i or edition which easily beats the samsung book 5 pro in terms of performance as it has core ultra 7 instead of core ultra 5 and it also has a much better keyboard better speakers and a bigger touch screen display as well I have reviewed it in detail so if you want to watch it the link is in the description but if you're looking for the best laptop overall then i would suggest you to go with the M4 MacBook Air as its price proposition is unmatched in 2025 so far so that was it for the video my name is Jitnesh Dubey thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys next time